plaintiff, Felicia Brodus, says she met the defendant in middle school, and now Felicia's married to her cousin. Felicia claims the defendant agreed to plan their wedding, but she failed to uphold her end of the agreement and then ruined her wedding shoes when she was high. So she's suing for a refund. Defendant Wanda Murray says she's heartbroken to be in court today because Felicia's husband is one of her favorite cousins. Wanda insists the money Felicia gave her went towards her services and wedding decorations. And she's countersuing because she claims Felicia assaulted her. Let's start with you. I met Wanda when we were in middle school. Our families became close over the years. Um, then in 2011, I met Wanda's first cousin, Jerome. He asked me to marry him in 2014 at a New Year's Eve party. Wanda was there catering. She came up to me. She said that she wanted to do Jerome's wedding, do the wedding for us because Jerome's her favorite cousin. I'm gonna make sure that it's epic. I'm gonna make sure that it's elegant. Everything's gonna be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. We're gonna lay it out, make sure that people we just gonna make them haters. But I'm like, well, how much you gonna charge me? Oh, don't worry about it. We're gonna do this for free because J1 is my favorite cousin. You don't have to worry about it. I was like, okay, but you know, you're not gonna do nothing for free. Found out two or three days later the reason why it began, began to be free because Wanda came and lived with us. I was like, okay, that's fine. No problem. Was there uh, an agreement on rent? Nope, it was no agreement. How long agreement. was she to stay there? She just came and started staying because Wanda don't, when she's here, she don't have a permanent place to stay. She, from pillar okay. to post. Go ahead. She was driving our car, eating, laying around, not working, just, I was taking care of her. That's a good deal. You got any more room? <laughs> That's why I was free. I'd like to do you got that. got some friends like that. Yeah, I got some <laughs> friends and family like that. Go ahead. Wanda and came. I got mad with one of my family members years ago. And he was living with me. I'd go to work and law school every day. My wife was running preschools that she had built. We had three kids there wow. with us. We were stressed out, working all the time. He was there just kicking it around <laughs> all day. <laughs> Wouldn't go look for a job. Come home, all the food would be gone. <laughs> <laughs> beer or whatever else would be gone. He's sitting there drinking beer and watching cartoons all day. <laughs> and so we go one day to visit a relative. She's like, such and such, how you doing? <laughs> he broke out with the biggest smile. He said, I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I got so angry at him. Then I thought about it later. Is doing great. <laughs> <laughs> so she was doing great. Yeah, she was doing pretty good. <laughs> Go ahead. Look on Facebook. She got a video out. Oh, this ain't real. Let me see the ring. I don't believe this is going on. So How about you? Yeah, about the proposal. Later on in that month, while she's standing there, she comes to me. Um, I, can you pay my telephone bill a hundred dollars because I'm sharing a phone bill with her witness. And if I don't pay my phone, pay the phone bill, it's gonna cut both of them off. I was like, so okay. Gave her the $100. I was like, listen, you can take that off the final bill that we come up with. Told her, I was like, I want you to do the de decoration for the, the wedding. Nothing else. She come back in February. I need 200 more dollars because I'm getting ready to go to Washington. So I gave her the $200. She was like, we're gonna take this off for the bill to go towards the material. How much had you given her at that point? At that time, I had gave her $800. All together? At that time, yes. Mm -hmm. What happened? She didn't show... She brought me some receipts that... How much were they for? I don't know, because didn't they were faded. Didn't come to $800? No, they were faded. And then she got $300 at that time. Now, mind you, we okay. just started this in January. All right. By March and so April... So now we're up faded. to $1,100? Yes. All right, and where do we go from there? I have the breakdown. All right, let me see it, please. And let her give me uh, her side at this point, and then I'll go back to you to complete your testimony. <clears throat> Ma'am? Yes. First of all, Your Honor, this is very painful for me because this is my fa one of my favorite cousins, so... J1. J1. <laughs> Two things. Did you put him on the Internet about his ring, No. I taped it. I videotaped it. And you didn't it. say that? I was saying a lot of stuff in the background. Did you say that? No, I don't, no, I don't remember well, saying that. It was all positive? No. So, <laughs> this is your favorite cousin, 
It hurts you so much <laughs> to be here. Yet you put your favorite cousin's fiance and their business on the internet in a negative light. Go ahead, favorite cousin. What else you want me to know? <laughs> what else pains you? Well, um, I never ask anyone to do their event. Uh -huh. People come to me. Mm -hmm. She asked me, she said, you just stay with us. You come up here, just stay up here. Okay. I want you to do the wedding. I want it to be beautiful because he had just what got was a the divorce. Agreement? What, what services were you to perform? We didn't start talking about the event till weeks later. But prior to that, she had just pulled the gun to his head. So I got them back together um, cooking a dinner for them. All right. I cooked dinner. You know. That made her put the gun down? You can get a woman to put the gun down. I did. She, she called food. me. Exactly. She said he put me out, you know. He put uh, me out or did I leave? That's enough. We got to get past the gossip. Fast forward to what the agreement was regarding the services and how much you Two weeks paid. after that, he asked to marry her. So um, I didn't come up with a price, first of all, mm -hmm. because this is one of my favorite What did cousins. you agree to do? Food and decor. That's it? Yes. All right. And how much did she give you for food and decor? It came up to 1100 All right. And what happened to cause you to sue her today? She came up with um, some, some material. All I right. have pictures yeah, of that. Yeah, you told me that. And it did not add up to $1,100. All right, but that so, 1100 was to include the food also. She was never going to do the food. Good enough. All right. And so what did you say to her when it didn't come up to 1100 I started sending texts to her. And what did she say? I got it. I'm going to bring it over. That's the stuff that I gave you pictures of. Okay. What did it add up to? A hundred. It's on the front. I had a breakdown yeah. of how many she bought. And All right. And so when you ask about the other, what did she say? She said that she felt that I owed her for her time. Okay. I'm standing at my house eating my food. All right. I'm so not you were at 1100 Now you're at 1079 Yes. How did you get to 1079 I deducted the $150 worth of stuff. All right. And then I added some shoes that I asked her to do, and she did those while she was high. And <laughs> she did know, the... How do you know she, she was high? She told me she did. She did. She told me she was like, I just went crazy putting your... Putting, um, What's wrong with them? They look well, all right to me. There, I can't even put my foot in them. I gave, I told her, I said, I want the toe done and my new Why can't the, you put your name. foot in them? Because she put some glue on them, some fabric glue, and my foot can't even go in them. Listen, let's see the fabric. I, I need to feel fabric glue in order to determine and that the, your foot. If, you, if I put my foot in them, the grindstone's popping off. And I suppose I wore them under my wedding dress. Go ahead. All right, so that's your lawsuit is she didn't provide the services uh, based on the receipts she presented you. That's right. All right, ma'am, what do you say to this? I have all my pictures of every time I would okay. do complete some flowers or please. I did her flower arrangement. You don't have any receipts? Did she mention to yes. you that she needed more receipts than $150? Yes. And what did you tell her? Um, I'll bring them over. We can talk about it. Do you, did you bring them to me? I you said you would bring them over to her. Yes. 1100 in receipts. Did you no, bring... No, I was never going to bring 1100 worth of receipts to her. I'm looking at the uh, supplies, and the biggest receipt you give me is for 283 And it was supposed to be 1100 1100 was for something else. It what? wasn't for... What else? We go pick out the linens. We go and pick out um, the event place. We went and did the tuxedos for the guys. So it sounds like what you're saying is that the rest was for your services. Yes. Which makes sense. All right. Did she tell you that she was charging for her services? No. Why I have in text that she was doing it pro bono. All right. Let's see and that. And here she said that she don't need any money, okay. just need now, food and shelter. And I provided stuff? that. How does she steal your lobster tails, ma'am? I was having a steak and lobster dinner for everybody that was in the wedding. And Wanda had a job to do lobster mac and cheese, and she misplaced that lady's money also. So she used my lobster tails in substitute for what she supposed to have bought, and she didn't. And she didn't ask my permission to use the lobster tails. All right, ma'am, what do you say about this? Can I say something about this? Come on, witness. Not say about something. no lobster tails. You <laughs> sit there all this time. There won't have nothing to say. Oh, now I you want to hop say. up and talk about no. some lobster tails? Come on. <laughs> She Say your name. I'm, 
<laughs> Natalie Dooley. She's what never been a witness of anything. No, no. We're getting this past this real quick. This all she's spewing is, is crazy. Felicia is very, very aggressive a person, and Wanda is not. She paid her to do a service. She didn't have to stay with Felicia. She stayed with me every time she come to Detroit to do an event. Wanda stays with me. She never had to stay with her. You, she was mad because Wanda told some personal business to my sister. No, we're not going to go with all that gossip. Well, I'm saying to try to rectify something between her and her husband, and Felicia got mad about that and canceled her from the wedding. We tried to go over there to make sure that this would go on because we wanted her to have a nice After event. I told them, do not come You to didn't my tell house. me. I text right. you. I have that and in text you handed also. me these texts, ma'am. Since you have the feeling of not coming back, that's cool, too. This is you talking to her. It would not hurt my feelings. Just bring me everything. I have bought thus far, and I'm cool, because this ain't $600 for material and $500 for labor. So you were making reference to paying labor. She didn't do anything for the uh, wedding. You she said didn't it do was anything. all for supplies. Your counterclaim for emotional distress is what? Because she she hit me. With the pistol or with her hand? No. <laughs> I stopped her from getting pistol, to the pistol. So what? She stopped her from getting to the pistol. She just hit me in my head. Did you hit her in my I when? did not touch Wanda because if you Any look... evidence that she hit you? Me. I was in between them. And she swung around me and hit Wanda. Can you imagine me swinging around her? Oh, yes, baby, you did it. <laughs> Can you imagine Where me swinging I, around her? I can't swing yes, around her. Yes, she was doing this. In her, in I can't her, her around her doing this. <laughs> what she yeah. want to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? You That's ain't want this. I feel bad for Jerome. I, I knew it was... You say you feel bad for Jerome. <laughs> I got... <laughs> I do, too. I really do. I knew do. they were going to get around to it in a so minute. Y'all were doing very story. good. <laughs> now, here come the drama. Your Honor. Yes. I, when Wanda came to my house that day, I, when Wanda walked in the door, I told Wanda seven to eight times, do not come in here. She came with her cousin... Your husband cousins, told me to come in. ...and her aunt... And I said, Wanda, get out of my house. They want said, get I said it straight. seven yes, to did. eight times. She came towards me. She Very left good. her seat. Ma'am, you have a police report. No, I want to try to get a PPO against her because we have and to see happened? each other. What happened? Once she stand with me. <laughs> what happened to your PPO? Um, I didn't get it. Okay, then you weren't that emotionally distressed. I am going to grant you, ma'am, um, everything short of the. $300, I believe, she had, uh, provided me enough receipts for and evidence of. So that's $1,079 minus $300. Come on, Doyle, don't you I'm trying to get them out of here? <laughs> seven, seven, eight, eight. Trying to get them out of here. All right, and minus 500 for her labor. I do believe she's entitled to her labor. You made reference to the 500 279 left. 279 is your judgment, ma'am. Have a good day. She said that I caused a problem between her and her cousin. I just want them to reconcile and be as close as they used to be. That's all I want. That's all I want for my cousin. That's all I wanted to.